because at that time I used to see mistakes in my life. I'll tell you what my biggest mistake was. But now everything that I go through is not a mistake. It's a it's a learning curve. Because I believe that growth is a it is moving from a lower comfort to a higher comfort through a, an uncomfortable transition. That's my definition of growth. So I do not, whenever I face an obstacle in my life, I don't see it as a, as a failure. I see it as, as a, a, a problem that I need to solve or a conflict that I must overcome. So everything that has happened to me from the time I became conscious, I left home at 22 that I left home till now that I'm 43, everything has been a building block to the reason why I get to sit here and eat pizza with you this evening. You know, so I, I appreciate everything that has happened. But if I'm to look for one thing that I did that I thought was really stupid, was after we released uh, Masanaba, we got the opportunity to travel with Daddy Lumba to go to America for a world tour. And I didn't come back because I had seen bridges. And I had a girlfriend in New York. So I thought, ah, why don't I just stay here, you know, and go to school. I had a bridge, a bridge, what you say? So if there's a mistake that I've made in my life, it would be going to live in America for three years. When I was a successful rapper, we the first hip life group to receive the award for be um, best hip life song. First hip life group to, to receive a Ghana Music Award. 1999. Then a, a year later, I was living in America washing dishes. But check this out. It was out of that washing those dishes and the girl breaking my heart and me walking in the snow and working on the 42nd Street, selling oranges and doing those things. It was the reason why when I came back, nothing could stop me. I grew up in Kumasi, in Fantino Town. Where I grew up, the dream for every boy in Fantino Town was to go to America. We used to sing a song, America, and what you did to London, and what you did. You know, see people just want to go to America. So when I had gone to America, and I come back, and I came back with nothing, and I saw that my wealth is in my culture and in my people, I had exhausted my, my plan B. So I was only left with plan A, which was rap. That's why I kept rapping like that. So... Um, have I answered the question? Yes. Thank you.